All right, my lovelies, let's tap into this thing one more time. All right? Now, you know I love you to death. And I hope everything's going all right out there in La La Land. Now, let me uh, do this. Now, I don't know why I heard the uh, little saying, 20, 20, twin. I don't know where that came from. But anyway, what that mean, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> But I just heard that. Now, let's see what's going on. Let me pull for my same card, y'all. Now, y'all excuse me for acting a little goofy sometimes. I don't know. Sometimes I get a little goofy. Okay. All right, let's see. Now, can we get something new, Spirit? <laughs> Now, I think I probably went through all the cards. Maybe. Maybe. Let me see that. Right, is that three? It's three, y'all. We're going to take them. Now, at the bottom of the deck, we got on the split is the roof and home. Now, both of them, in my opinion, kind of consist of the same thing. You know what I'm talking about? Both of them, stability, rooted and grounded. Now, we have resources coming out here. We also have collaborate. Collaborate. Now, this is the second house. And we also have Aquarius and symbiosis. Now, symbiosis is telling you to nurture something. Some creative passion or something that you got deep down inside of you. I think that's what that say. <laughs> I think it do. Pulling the strengths that you have. Your skill set. Now, one thing I told somebody to do a, a long, long time ago. Now, this was on my other channel. I think this, or was it on TikTok? It was one of these. That, that was very, very new at uh, creating content. However, I told them to uh, get a piece of paper and write down everything that they know how to do. Or write a resume to they self. Now, this is you writing a resume to yourself, listing all your skill sets, everything that you decently love to do. And pull from that. Pull from that. Something that just come naturally to you. You're going to be amazed of just how much you got to offer. And somebody actually gave me a comment you know, back on that same video and told me that they did it and found their purpose. I'm talking about it was a drawn out little message to me, y'all. And I was just almost crying. <laughs> because how grateful they were. Oh, no, no. Mm -hmm. So you should try it. All right. Now, where's my book at? And remember, you're writing a resume to yourself. All right. And just, just see how much you got to bring to the table. I don't care if it's just cooking, sewing. I'm talking about put it, put it all down there. Yeah, this is telling you to lean to what is easy and comfortable. And use that comfort to renew, grow, and expand. Look for people that are compatible and complementary ideals or skills to yours. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now let me see. And you have collaborate right here. And resources. Now let me see what the resource card is telling you to do. And that's the page 40. Now, this is telling you to explore how you feel about money. 
Yeah, so many people on the spiritual path have mixed feelings about money, their bodies, and possessions, drawn to abundance, and at the same time wrestling with guilt and discomfort around desires. This approach, avoidance, conflict around the material world can make it hard to focus your efforts and it may send you and it may send out mixed messages until the universe doesn't know how to respond or to help you. Yeah, a lot of people, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you just be a little complacent. I don't want much and all this stuff right there. When the universe wanna offer you so much. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with having a little guilty pleasure. You know what I'm saying? Not as you're being greedy. You need to know that you can deserve the best. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not saying that you got to be out here visualizing the mansion and it's just you. I mean, I mean, come on. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean. You gotta step on toes and all that right there. But you need to uh, figure that out for yourself. But listen, I'm open. Whatever the spirit wanna give me, the universe, bring it on in. Yeah, this say for instance, somebody was to offer you a match and you ain't gotta live in it. You can make it out of something else. You never know. Listen. Listen, be open to whatever the universe has to give you. You never know what may come of it. Now, let me see. What cards can I pull from this to actually draw from? I don't know. Resources collaborate in symbiosis. I'm trying to think of a deck of cards. That would really complement this. Something, something, something. I don't really be liking to. Let me see. Let's see. I'll try it. I really need some um, Oracle decks, yeah. Some really fine tuned oracle cards. Now, I don't know who made this deck, but I like it. You know, it's not redundant like a lot of the other cards. This has a lot. This was well thought out, I must say. Now, you have the mature man on the second house. Of course, I'm going to have to pull some more because I knew it wasn't going to probably tell me a lot. However, it does give me the sense that somebody is maturing around the way they view resources. You might want to bite out of the piece of that apple right there. Mm -hmm. And the apple does represent knowledge. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm just looking at him. He got that little globe right there. Now, all these cards that fell out, and I don't want them all. We got unexpected income journey and false person. I just want to spit it. Let us collaborate. And we're going to take the first one off the top. I got two, so I'm going to use both of them. All right, you got the lovers and the coffin. Now, from the coffin, you know something always ends, but something always begins. However, within this ending, there's always a lesson. Loss. 
You know, they say that sometimes loss, something beautiful can be found through that experience. No matter how tragic it may be. Kind of ironic that you got lovers here with collaborate. Because the lovers card does indicate more than just intimate collaborations. Just something that you have a love for. However, whatever this is, it does seem to be very passionate. A lot of wisdom to be found through this. I'm just looking at the birds. I never really studied this card like this before. Now, it's making me pay attention to the veins within the body. Like something really runs deep. in the connection. It's almost like they sculpt it together. Now, it really does give me a uh, vintage. You know, like vintage pieces. You need, like find vintage things in like thrift stores and stuff like that. Like something can be uh, refurbished, I want to say. Or brought back to style. Or something that actually never uh, loses its, its appeal, no matter how aged it may get. Hey, and as I said, look what's at the bottom of the deck. The mature woman. Now, this is this having something to do with a, a relationship? Because you got the mature man and the mature woman here. Hmm. With collaboration and resources? Hmm. And you got the home? <laughs> With exploration at the bottom of the day. Hmm. 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 I don't know. It's got me intrigued though, I tell you that. Let me see what else cars can I pull from. What else, spirit? <laughs> <laughs> this is getting interesting. What car? I you know, I, you know, I thought I thought that I really liked these cars. I don't know. Let's see. Let's try. Them. Let's try. Them. Let's try. Let's try. I'm wondering if I should put these on the side. Alright, let's do it. Let's just do it. Should I use these spirit? Alright, I think it's a call for this. Let me see. I haven't utilized this in a long time. Should I use this? Should I use these? This is like as a, uh, I'm gonna say yes. It's like, a, it's not too enthused, though. <laughs> it's like, their work. <laughs> not too enthused, spirit. Alright, what is resources? like it's not gonna, I don't know if it's gonna get me the answers that I'm seeking. I wonder if I should use the, uh, no. I really need some cards, y'all.
And that three and four. I don't know if I want to necessarily use this. It wasn't too enthused. I think I'm gonna use these. And I think I want to use the little one. I don't know. Even though they're the same cards, there's something about these I like. Because it, it kind of give you uh, some cues on what's going on. Okay. Right, what? Oh, see how fast they came out? And there we go. With the home, the house. Now, it definitely got something to do with that. Because these are the same cards. And it's 44, which is giving me divine guidance. Master number. And look what's showing up. Some type of proposal. Engagement. Promise. It's almost like somebody know what they want. Now, even though I'm putting this on collaborate. We do have 1919 here. Now, 19 could be a, a, a significant number. Could have been born in a how do you say it? 1900s? What is that? The 20th century? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't know y'all. Listen. Wait a minute, let me see. What is this symbiosis? Now, I know that, uh... <laughs> That's a lot of people, right? <laughs> yep, 19 on your birthday. I don't know, something. There we go. This thing, one card, spirit. All right, we're going to take the first one off the top. Okay, we got 15 and 15. It with stability in the lovers. Now, you know the uh, bear comes to bring you resources. Look like somebody about to go on some type of journey. Now, this does indicate some travel, packing some luggage, collaborations. Now, I want to read out. I'm going to read out um, what each card means for you so that you can follow along. How about that? All right, so you can be a little bit clear so you can tap in and use your own intuition in regards to what this is talking about. Now, we already read this out. We know what collaboration means and we know what these resources mean. However, let me read out collaborate really quickly because sometimes it do give you a little other cues because we do got this going on. Now, I like to call this my matrix card. And I and within this system, something needs to be uh, rebuilt. Something going on in that regards. Now, let me see. What I said I was going to read? Correct. 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 Yeah. 
Now, this is telling you to live by your philosophy. That's why I said, let me read that out for you. Because something within this structure, outdated, you look at it. And y'all see what's behind it, right? You just look at it, you can see it. It's something about that that needs to go. And maybe because we was talking about uh, money, a capitalist mindset. Now, a lot of people in spirituality has refrained from that, I must say that. But then, you know, they think of, some, as, of the need or the want for money as something bad. But it's not. You got to live, but You got to live. All right? Now, it's telling you to live by your philosophy. Philosophy. Now, this is Aquarius traditional ruler Saturn asks us to um, know what society expects of us and to care about our reputation. However, Aquarius co-ruler Uranius encourages us to free ourselves from traditions or others' opinions and be able to think outside the box. I will go on, but I think that's enough. Now, let's see what this 19 is telling me. Oh, that's a tower? Why am I on the right card? Is it? 16, yeah. Now, this card... Um, is corporations, organizations, institutions, and governments come under my influence. I am boundaries and I am restrictions, so be mindful of isolation. I describe your ambition as well as your expectations. And let's not forget your higher education. <laughs> now, I think that you can actually pull from you know, some of the ideals, but expand upon them. Now, I'm not saying everything that you learn inside the matrix is a fault. It ain't of use. Because it is. You know what I'm saying? Just think outside the box. Just like the card said it. We'll collaborate. Collaborate those ideas and make it your own. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Telling you to pull from what you're comfortable with. Maintaining your authenticity. Your morality. And build that stability. Now, it do look like somebody might be coming along to help you in that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the bottom. The main male and the mature woman next to each other. Okay. Mm -hmm. And look. It, it, wow. It, 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 I don't know what's going on here, but look. 16. Yeah, thought. Somebody thinking about something. Somebody thinking about you. Now, together... The she's six and he's five and one. Together they make one, which is six. <laughs> oh, God. All right. That's enough jokes. <laughs> yeah, but somebody, somebody's thinking about somebody. Somebody want to work together with somebody. Join forces. Ideals. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be anything that's intimate. But something. But it could be. I'm looking at this home. Somebody might want to shack up and build a new castle. But look at the difference between the homes. This is what they want to have. Something different. Yeah, he got love on the brain. Look at the king of hearts right there in the corner. The macho man. Look like he coming with Cornish too, boo. <laughs> <laughs> Look like he coming with a little bit of Cornish. Now, let me see. 
We're gonna pull it from these cards right here. Not these, but these, because these is a little bit more about relationships. Let's see what's going on. This is gonna help me with the tarot. Oh, then I said I was gonna read it. Well, you know what this means. Yeah, this is all about your stability. Both of them represent stability. I think that's enough. And this coffin is some type of new beginning. Now we have the um, cracker coming out here, which is positive energy surrounds you. Love, joy, and good fortune awaits. Right here on this apple in this house. Now you and this person might be of a particular age. You don't got to be. Could just represent wise. Seasoned. But you got a lot of numbers down here that's the same. Like, you got 15, 15, and 19, and 19. Hmm. Yeah, look. What, this is what Spirit is saying. Whatever ideals that was up in there need to end. And this new thing is going to bring you some stability. Yes, it is. Now, this person could be 52 or you could be 52. Don't got to be. But you could be. Yeah, we got 15, 16, something, something is coming together. Something. Now it says your angels are guiding and protecting you on your spiritual journey. And I'm trying to tell you, it's the birth of something. Now this is the number four. Universal energy brings you opportunity and possibility. Fo, fo, fo. Always showing up. Got 22 down here. 20 and 2 is 22. That's the building number. You got 44 and 22 down here. first car out the deck is the levels right down mature man and resources in the house and the angel and at the bottom of the deck is a celebration
Hmm. Now I'm gonna mention this because it's a tower. Now you might have to beware of some type of wand on. That's trying to come in and deter you from your path. Because I did see the beware card. But I think you're going to be able to peep the game. Bad, you keep showing up. Look. Look. Now, that's why I'll be trying to tell y'all to keep people out of your business. There might be a little bit of this competition. Look like this thing is going to come into balance, though. Because you got the justice card. And the strength card next to that. Now, maybe this has a lot to do with... Um, How do I want to say that? Um, competition. That's why you have protecting you on your spiritual journey. Yeah. I don't even think that's your energy. Yeah. I don't know who who this. <laughs> Who is it, Spirit? I don't know, boo. Just keep your eyes wide open. Look like he about to tame something, though. Now, I must say that this could be a little conflict in the relationship. Everything has its ups and downs. Everything. There may be somebody need to get rid of some outdated beliefs. Now, I did have a read where I said the man need to listen to his woman a, a little bit. Y'all got to work together. Something going on here. A little patience. A little tenderness. Pouring in each other's cup. You see how tempers is pouring in each cup? The King of Pentacles. Now, it do look like something going to be revived. Peace offering? Or is that an invitation? Now, I'm not telling anybody to go back to anybody from their past. I'm talking about somebody that's in a relationship already now that they think it could be salvaged. Gotta work it out. And I'm never telling anybody to go back to their past because I'm not going to do it. All right? So, you don't have to put that in the comments. I'm not telling you to do that. That's your decision if you want to do it. Okay? One thing I like about Oracle cards, they always say the uh, opportunity wait for those ready to let go of the past. <laughs> like everybody got that down pat. <laughs> Not that I agree with everything that's written in these things either. Sometimes I have the challenge. What's being said? Not too 
too much stuff sometimes. Now you got the Ten of Pentacles right here on this lovers and this marriage. Now I do look like somebody is coming in with coinage. <laughs> Listen, the king to the ten on the lovers. And I'm not saying that you need to want anybody for their money, but I'm just telling you they don't look like they're going to be no bust. Okay. We don't want no busters. Listen, we're not fixing people. If they broken, leave them where they at. <laughs> They're broken limb with that. They, look at that. That's right there on that conflict card. Now, this could either indicate that this situation of conflict is healing. Love can be found up out of this. All right, somebody choose himself. However, it's right there on the marriage card. Now, I do look like... It may be just a little bit of competition going on here. Because whoever you is, you look like you're single about to take a leap of faith. Now, it might be some type of change in the wind. It might, might be a little bit of resistance, but they coming. <laughs> and you might not see it. Now, you know that Seven of Wands does indicate that your chakras are in alignment. It doesn't always mean that you're in opposition. But it it means several things. You know, standing up for yourself. That you, you, you know what you want. And you ain't scared to express it. Right? You're independent. You're looking good. You're smelling good. You're washing your feet and all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Getting up in the morning and combing your hair. You're doing the right thing, boo, with your life. Going to the dentist every three months. It's stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got time for the mess. Look, this is take the leap of faith right there on that stability. Something new beginning from whatever you lost a long time ago. Right there. A new beginning with justice and collaboration. And maybe somebody taking the leap of faith to come towards you. And show you what they're working with. There's somebody coming. Something that you've been waiting on all your life. I've been waiting for the end. It's not good. You've been strong. <laughs> You've been strong. That one will come out. Hey, yeah. I say you've been strong. Look at that. That's what wanted to come out. And it's three cards. I guess I'm going to take them on out. Because there's three left. Now, you got the Ten of Swords on when I said you've been strong on the um, Strength card. A lot of wisdom. Now, I do think you're thinking outside the box with this collaboration and this Lover's card. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be about a relationship for y'all that don't want a relationship. This marriage could be a business idea. Big old temperance in the hermit card. Wow. That's a lot of growth. The spirit is on your side with angel. Look, the angel right here with temperance. And the wish fulfillment. It's something that you've been waiting on. This is fast movement. That's bringing in the sun. And you're moving and you're grooving.
Now, I wanted to say, I don't know who this is. That's why I was looking. Now, I don't think that you're moving on to smooth water. I think this is somebody from the past. That this is probably one of the uh, buddy, a bed buddy or something like that. Yeah, he was putting your work in, but you heal from that. Yeah, you're looking for something that's a little bit more dedicated. And you're moving, and you're grooving. Yeah, you're moving, you're moving, you're moving, you're moving. And there you go. This is what you're um, attaining, boo. Yeah, you know, hell, you just sword up against somebody from the past. Somebody that's a little bit more stable. A mature man or a woman. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're growing from that. From the past, though. Yeah. Over here with this conflict and chaos. This is you choosing you. Now, it do look like you got a healthy relationship with money as well. Or more uh, different ideals about money. Yeah. That's what it looks like. You know? All that glitters ain't gold. Something like that going on here. Boy, if Holly Weird ain't showing y'all that and all that glitters ain't gold right now, I don't know. What else it, it can possibly be happening? <laughs> that opened up your eyes. All right? Now, I don't know who in the world would ever want to go to Hollywood and be in the industry. It just really would compel me to find that out. That is just crazy. Madness. Madness, I tell you. Madness. I'll be scared to death. They gonna have me on a platter somewhere. It made me look at everybody in Hollywood strange. Strange. Like, what did you do? You know what I'm saying? They could be innocent, but I still look at them strange. But anyway, let me see. I think we're going to pull one card from here. I'm going to close this thing on now. And if you in Hollywood and you listening to my um, video, <laughs> listen. That's just the way I feel and probably had the world. <laughs> Be careful. Sometimes you got to beat them up a little bit. This usually does confirm what I said here today, but let's see what's going on. This is peeking out. And look at that. I love that card right there because it's just giving me peacock vibes. The peacock. The peacock. What is it? And I'm going to go finish looking at Bro Santas. I know I don't miss so much. But where 
the hard way. Is that it? Yeah, 51. Now, oh, it's the sacral chakra. Now, the sacral chakra does um, embody mind, body, and soul, and it's all about relationships. The chakra of creativity, abundance, and pleasure. Let these words be your mantra. Find what fills your cup and pour it all over your canvas of life. This is the time to put your creative projects first. The very ones you've had on the shelf for months. This is also a time to work on shifting your relationship with money. And see it as an energetic tool that can bring you great freedom. Wow. I tell you, spirit. And what are we talking about? Money all the time? Now it says, this is also the time to focus on pleasure. What makes you feel turned on? Lean more about um, Tantra and, cultiv and cultivate shock key and divine feminine energy within. Dance around your living room and luxuriously oil your body. Treat yourself the way you would a lover. For you are your life's greatest love. And that's probably why that's there. Because again, I told you that could be you. Your masculine and your feminine. And I said that could be self-love. That union could be just in regards to something that you seriously love. That's if you don't want no relationship. But it do look like you got a healthier respect for money. You got some type of wish fulfillment coming in. Dang. Is that? Oh, that's the eight. But however, boo, that is your message, darling. And good job. All right. And I'll see you on the next one. Hit that like button.